Minecraft RTX is finally here, and I'm not really going to make a huge in-depth video on how to get it to work, but it's very annoying trying to get it installed. So the first thing you have to do, hopefully I'm not giving away any major information by doing this, is uninstall Minecraft. So if you have the good launcher, the one that you can play with other people's dedicated servers that they don't have to pay for, then you'll have to make sure you have the app, because RTX currently only works on Minecraft that is from the Windows Store, so Minecraft for Windows 10. So we got to uninstall it, and then we need to get to the Xbox Insider Hub, and you'll have to go to the Windows Store to install this. And then we'll click on Insider Content, and then we click on Minecraft, and then we click on Manage, and then we click on uh, Minecraft for Windows 10. And it might be a little bit different if you've never been in a Minecraft beta before, but pretty much that's the same steps <clears throat> and then it'll get you in right now it's a little bit difficult just because a lot of people are doing this but it should get you in in a couple of minutes at least then we click show on store and then we will need to um, download it and install it again so this is something i've already done minecraft for windows 10 but we are not done yet so keep in mind that even after you install it this way uh, you are of course going to need an rtx 2060 i think it says or higher uh, right there so, you know, a pretty high-end graphics card to do ray tracing. AMD graphics cards currently do not support ray tracing. And then we got to go to the marketplace, and then we have to download the world. So we just click on any of these down here that say RTX, and there'll be a download button right there. I've already downloaded them, though. And then we can create or play beta, and then we can select one of these worlds that we downloaded. So it's kind of annoying because that's a heck of a lot of hoops we have to jump through, but we'll go with the Neon District. And we can't currently actually play a game of Minecraft in RTX. We can only play these ones, and um, I kind of wanted to start a new world, so let me get back out. I might... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay, so let's create new, and then here we go. Templates. So we can see all the templates. Here are all the RTX templates that we downloaded. RTX, 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 RTX. So we'll just go on over to Neon District. So we'll create this new world, and then we need to unlock the template, and we'll set it to creative, peaceful, and then we can name this um, RTX, X, 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 and scroll on down. I don't know. Make sure there's no other settings you want. Click on create, and then we're good to go. And this RTX beta does drop my frames pretty hard. And there's a whole lot of information up on top of the screen. I don't think any of that is particularly uh, revealing. I mean, of course, I've got a 2080. It's got my Windows version on there. Oh, well, I guess if someone wants to steal my information off of that, they can go ahead. And we'll go on to settings. We'll click on advanced video. We want to make sure upscaling and DirectX ray tracing are both on. Ray, uh, upscaling actually increases your performance. And ray tracing obviously is the whole thing we want to do. So I'm going to do some before or afters in a second here. But you will notice that there's not a whole lot of other graphics settings you can change. Uh, unlike a, re a real Minecraft. So I could actually change like the view distance and a whole lot of stuff. And right now I'm getting decent frames, 60 FPS. Um, but... Uh oh, let's just go up out of here. We can take a look at ray tracing. Looks like I'm really... Am I in the city? Or am I? I think I'm still in the building. So let's... Uh oh, uh, what I wanted to do... Let's get out of here. Okay, I don't know how to control Minecraft, apparently. I have not played this game in creative in a while, so give me a second here. There we are. Okay, so here is Neon City in ray tracing. I'm currently not in full screen, and that might make a difference i'm not sure okay so we're just gonna do a couple of before and afters and then i will give my thoughts at the end of this video So being a beta, we do often run into strange glitches like this, and this may well be my fault. I have an overclock on my GPU that is possibly causing lots of problems like this, so I'm assuming this game is going to crash soon, but this is what we get for playing in a beta, so let's see if we can do a before and after on this side.
Interestingly, the glitch seems to go away. And they turn ray tracing on. So that's not really cause for concern. This thing is literally brand new uh, release for the public, so um, I'm expecting that glitch to happen. Oh, this is the water. I really like the water with ray tracing. Of course, the ad for original, or the original ad for, dang it. Of course, one of the big focuses on ray tracing were golden blocks. So let's see if that lives up to the hype. Gotta admit, they look pretty good. Well, okay, they look okay now, still. <laughs> I'm surprised that, like, no ray tracing, I get all those weird glitches, and with ray tracing, they go away. So with some of my thoughts on ray tracing and my ray tracing view distance is far lower than my non-view distance, because there was a ship over here, right? Yeah. My thoughts so far is that Minecraft currently, even in its pretty much unplayable state, because all we have right now are tech demos for ray tracing, so hopefully we actually get to create our own world soon, and this video will be horrifically outdated in a very short amount of time, I'm sure. Uh, but Minecraft, even in this state, is like the most noticeable ray tracing effect game that I've played yet. When ray tracing came out, it was very hyped, but for, like, the first year, there was almost nothing that actually supported it. I think it was Tomb Raider and Call of... or not Call of Duty, um... Battlefield and some other game, and the only game that you might play extensively there is Battlefield, but most people I knew who had Battlefield didn't turn on ray tracing because it created a ton of lag, and you don't want that in multiplayer. And with the new Call of Duty, Modern Warfare also had ray tracing that looks very good, but again, lots of lag even on my 2080. So I turned it off, uh, except for the single player. Metro Exodus, which came out last year, also had ray tracing. That game looked very, very good with ray tracing, although that game's also pitch black for a pretty good portion of it, so couldn't see all the fancy light effects. And most games, I think, don't make as huge of a difference with ray tracing on or off. I don't think most people would know uh, would notice, but I think Minecraft. So far, anyway, it's definitely the most strikingly different game with ray tracing on and ray tracing off. I mean, that is like, it's like I'm going from <laughs> DOS games to uh, brand new PlayStation 5 games. It's just amazing how much of a difference that, that makes. I mean, look at that. That is crazy. I didn't even, I wouldn't even have thought that those things are metallic. Whatever the heck these pieces are, I don't know. Uh, this is really cool. So I was a little bit disappointed with the Minecraft beta because it took them forever to come out with it. They announced last year it would come out early 2020. It is now April 16th, so... You know, if anyone ever says quarter one of a certain year, they usually mean the day before quarter two. And they said early 2020, so they meant a quarter of the way through the year, basically. And uh, we finally get a beta with a whole bunch of tech demo levels. I mean, I can technically play through these levels, but I wanted to start a new world in ray tracing, and I can't do that yet. So hopefully that update will come soon. And heck, as I'm saying this, maybe I'll be able to uh, within the few hours of me even uploading this video. Who knows? But the water, man. I'm just telling you, the water doesn't look so good here. Some of the other levels do a better job with the water showing it off. I swear I was playing Subnautica on one of the worlds. And that's going to be it for this video on ray tracing with Minecraft. So it's still very primitive, still very beta, tons of fun, and I cannot wait for it to be a real thing.